A sample of gas has a certain pressure which is caused by collisions with the surface of the container and that pressure can be measured in different units. So here we have a bunch of conversion factors. The most common ones are probably millimeters of mercury which is also known as tor or atmospheres but bar is also a standard unit of pressure. The pressure of a gas is related to its volume and its temperature by the ideal gas equation, PV equals nRT, where R is the gas constant and it's 0 0.0821 liters times atmosphere divided by mole and Kelvin. So when you use this equation to solve for a variable, make sure that the units cancel and the units of R will guide you as to which units the other variables have to be in in order to cancel. A variation of PV equals nRT can be found by doing a little bit of algebra. We can substitute, instead of just using N, the number of moles, we can substitute mass divided by molar mass, which is how you would calculate the moles in the lab. So here I substituted in that mass divided by molar mass, then I brought the molar mass over to the left and the volume over to the right because that gives me the density mass divided by volume. So this equation in red is really the same as the ideal gas equation. It looks a little different because we made a couple of substitutions. But any time PV equals nRT works, so will this version of the gas law. So for example, if you were asked to calculate the volume of 2.6 moles of krypton at STP, standard temperature and pressure, which is 0 degrees Celsius in one atmosphere, the easier version is PV equals nRT because we can solve for the volume directly. The number of moles N is 2.6. The gas constant R. The temperature is zero degrees Celsius, but notice the gas constant has units of Kelvin, so we have to convert by adding Celsius plus 273.15 to get that into Kelvin. And the pressure is in the correct unit, one atmosphere. We can double check atmosphere cancels, Kelvin cancels, mole cancels, and we're left with liters. So this volume works out to be 58.3 liters. The same equation, there are four variables, P, V, N, and T. The only one that's not a variable is R. So any use of this equation could be, you know, three out of the four variables, solve for the fourth one.